Okay. Yes. Live chat. I don't know if y'all can get on here now. Nobody's on here now. Lord have mercy. Me and technology. can chat now. I'll sit in here strumming the, um, hey, Gidget. Hey, Missy. Missy, I'm going to wait till Goose gets on here. One of y'all needs to take account of how many patterns I bought because I haven't counted yet. In fact, we had to put the majority of them, hey, Candace. Hey, Sheila. We had to put the majority of them on the carry-on bag because they don't weigh the carry-on bag. Mm -hmm. um. Hey, Kathy. Thank you, Kim. Hey, Jess. The New England Stitcher. Hey, Nicole. Oh, Nicole Spore is on here. Oh, I had, some of these are for you. I'm not gonna say what, which ones. Um. I did my hair and makeup, and now I feel like I got this big old... I feel like I look like Betty Ford tonight, y'all. Um, hey, Stitchy Linda. Since I screwed up and had to restart this, we're just going to wait a few minutes. Sweetwater Stitcher, hey, Jess. Jess, um, Jess knows. This weekend was um, a shopping extravaganza. Good evening, Lori. Hello, Debbie. Um... I went to look for things for the subscription box. Hey, Jenny. Um, I did do a lot of networking, met a lot of people, did not get tased, and Vince did not have to post bond when I met um, Nicola or, um, now my name, my, the names are just, um, Jen, uh, the addict, Jean, Jean Lee. I, um, in fact, when I met Nicola, Thank you, Jenny. Um, when I met Nicola, the vintage stitcher was standing beside me and she looked at me like, are you having another stroke? I, this is what came out of my mouth when I met Nicola. The, 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 and, and I, and, and the vintage, Artie was just looking at me. Vince, who had the camera to take a picture, turned around and started walking down the hall in the opposite direction. I could not formulate a sentence. Oh, thank you, Lori Miller. She loves her pink box. Um, and when I met Jean Lee, I started crying. And then I told her that she was the equivalent of Taylor Swift for me. And my husband was like, do you think she knew who Taylor Swift was? I was like, I don't know. This is the only thing that came to my mind. Um, thank you, Goose. Thank you, thank you. All right. So when it, somebody needs to keep a tally of all of the patterns. I can't leave comments. Oh, hmm. I, um, I can't possibly be on two lives. But if I could, hey, Cheryl, I probably am. But, um, oh, Jenny, I did tell, I did throw your name around. I sure did. I name drop with Jean and with Nicola. I sure did. I let them know. Um, and Nicola was just as sweet. I think, she was dumbfounded at my reaction to her. And I was gaga a lot of the time. So, let me tell you. It is, ever, it is better than Disney World. But when you leave at the end of every night, um, it's like you have walked Disney World for three days without stopping. I never made it like a whole night or a whole day because I'd get tired and I would have to go lay down. Um, and my husband actually just carried the bags and he would stand outside the rooms and he walks like this now. Um, he made one little comment about how much I was buying. And then he stopped. So let me show you some things I bought and I'm going to show you some things with a purpose. So, Trey Chic was there, 
and they have the Lady Liberty scissors. I bought, of course, the Gold Butterfly scissors. And the reason I bring up Tray Chic, they are based out of St. Augustine, and they have agreed to come as a vendor to Stitch Florida. They have a lot more than scissors, let me tell you. But they will be a vendor at Stitch Florida this summer. So I wanted to um, let y'all know that. Thank you guys about the boxes. I am really trying with each box to be thoughtful um, and a good steward of your money. I am always open to suggestions of things that you, if you would like to see or include, um, y'all just let me know. And I'm just gonna tell you that the May box with the pattern from Annie the Proper Stitcher, there is something in there from Melanie Fagan. There is something in there from Chantel 141. Y'all just gonna die. Um, so, speaking of boxes, I did get a chance to network a little bit with designers for the 2025 boxes because I already have the rest of 2024 lined up. And y'all, the tiny modernist has agreed to do a box in 2025. Yes. So, I want to show you what I bought from her of her new releases. Um, and y'all let me know if this works for y'all. This is spring chicken. Goose, look at it. Y'all know I can't have chickens here and I want chickens, so if it has a chicken on it, I gotta buy it. Tiny Modernist. And then a theme for this year and this spring and new releases are kind of these animal pillows. And so she has done rabbits as well. And this is again, Tiny Modernist. I doubt I'll ever be make be able to make them into an animal, but I bought them. And then I liked the message in this one. Follow Your Heart by Tiny Modernist. And I don't know if I will do the typewriter, but I sure do love that part. And I think that would look really, really pretty in my craft studio. And then y'all know I'm I'm I just finished. The Alice by Tra La La, and the Tiny Modernist, who had the Wizard of Oz stack, came out with the Alice in Wonderland. So y'all know I had to get it. So that's what I got from the Tiny Modernist. Y'all are gonna hear thunks on the floor because the only thing I can do is just be cute or throw them on the floor. Then we talked to Dirty Annie's. Now my husband looked up Dirty, he was looking up all of these designers the night before and we were making plans and stuff. Um, and he looked up Dirty Annie's and they, she has a pattern and she did not have it there, but I am gonna order it that says Trophy Husband. And my husband actually wants that stitched. Um, but I wanna sh look at what she had. A savior is born. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I had to have that. And then I loved this row sampler by Dirty Annie's. Because y'all know I got approved to Vince and remind him how much he loves me. Now, one of her new releases um, has Merman in it. And her husband the best sport in the world. He dressed up as Poseidon every day and walked around with the wig and the beard and the tail and the trident. Enough said. Dirty Annie's and I are also in talks of her doing a box for us in 2025. So again, a savior is born and the rose sampler. So, I bought those two. And then, the last one in this kind of order is, I talked to um, Barbie Tingley, who is Pedal Pusher. And I was not familiar with her, but I did get to meet Helen D. in her suite, 
which was just a double yay. But um, this is bot botanical study number one. And y'all know these things remind me of my mama. So I bought this one and I bought Gilded. And Petal Pusher is also gonna be a feature designer for 2025 in the boxes. So I already have three of the six boxes um, for next year. And I'm so excited about that. I bought some fabric from Rogue um, Atomic Ranch, but they're gonna have to send it to me. And that's okay. I did get, by the middle of Saturday, now market open Friday night at 4 p.m. By afternoon on Saturday, Fabrics by Stephanie, Stephanie had almost sold out of her entire fabric inventory. So I grabbed what I could. And so this is Juniper, which um, is for the Kathy, some of Kathy Haberman's. I think her new B is stitched in Juniper. I'm not getting any comments. Can somebody just write something real quick? Thank you, Goose. Um, then Friendship Green, and these were all 32 count linens by Fabrics by Stephanie. And I know that my light washes out and I'm sorry. This was Driftwood, which was actually what, if you went to the Pep Rally Retreat, what that pattern was called for. So I did get those, um, those three. All right, let's get on th with this. Heart in hand, got to meet Cecilia Turner, got to talk to her, got my pictures with her. Um, so, yes I did. I got Frosty Tiny Town. And the little frosty frill that goes with it. And I bought a whole bunch of them. So some of you might be getting some of these in happy mail. Just saying. And then this was not a new release, but I couldn't remember what tiny downs I had. Um, so I got this Harvest one. I have stitched her, but I don't think, I know I have the Halloween one, but I bought it. It's not like I hadn't done doubles before, y'all. Y'all gonna hear a thunk on the floor. Y'all, tomorrow, I literally have to move everything out of this room and try to figure out how I'm gonna get it in, back in the room. Then I did buy her floral etchings too. I bought floral etchings one last year and I was gonna make them all into individual pillows. Ask me if I have, don't ask. And I bought a bunch of these for my friends too. And I will be posting more pictures this week because I did take a lot of pictures of how she had these as standalone pillows. Yeah, I know that we say this when we go to, to cross stitch to LNSs and things that the models make all the difference in the world can't help myself. Um, so then, you know I love me some Susan O'Brien with Sweet Wing, and I know y'all do too. I had to get Harvest Butterflies. And I think I want to make these into individual pillows for my dough bowls. Because you know why not. And then some of y'all were lucky enough to stitch with her last year, and she made this as a chart um, for a special friends retreat. Oh my gosh, Ethan, why are you on here? Um, and I had to have it. Friendship is the golden thread that ties the heart of all the world. And this is a release this year for market. And then I got goodness and mercy.
and I'm going in no particular order as I pick things up from the suitcase. They just landed. I tried to keep them in order by designer. Got to see Liz Matthews again. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Totten. Um, and I was at the Spring Fling Retreat last year that Anna Williamson puts on in Cocoa Beach. And Kathy Barrick and Liz Matthews were the designers. Um, if anybody knows how to get rid of Ethan, y'all let me know. So, I got, she came out with the 10th day of Christmas. And I'm going to do mine in trees. And I know that Jess and if Carrie's on here, they're cracking up laughing because I was going to do Merry Monday stitching with them and start the Christmas ones last year. And, well, that's all I can say. Um, I kitted one. And then I did buy several of those. And then with this... With this, you see, remember me. Thank you for reporting, Ethan. And I bought a couple of those. And then, y'all know I had to have Cottontail. And I bought a couple of those. Don't ask me why I decided you know, when you're shopping. Honestly, y'all, I think something comes over me medical. And I just start shopping. Hey, Meredith! And so, next door to Liz, and in Liz's um, suite, I got to meet Elizabeth Ann from Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. Um, and so, that was exciting, too. Got a picture with them. Then, next door to Liz's um, suite is Kathy Barrick, her mom. And I own just about everything that Kathy and Liz have put out because I went a little slap happy at their retreat last year. I know y'all are shocked. Um, so, um, Kathy Barrick, a miniature Quaker sampler. Okay, I know y'all can't tell by this picture and I know I get fooled all the time on sizes. This literally was about this big. Can somebody report Kipe? as well um but it was literally this big it is 69 wide by 113 high a teeny tiny little thing and who don't love a big old bird on a house then good intentions revisited i am not I'm kind of just a little nervous about um, stitching on darker fabrics, but I just think this has to be stitched on darker fabric. And then I bought Vibrant Flowers, which is a new release. Um just the house the flowers i'm not a kitty cat lover but it's a cute little kitty cat and then this was one of my top picks for market release this year caught in a swirl i am obsessed y'all know i can't count to save my life there is no telling what this swirl is going to look like. Probably like a drunk person stitched it, but I'm going to try. And then, like I said before, all of these little animal pillows. So I got cookie cutters one. And I got cookie cutters two. And honestly, look at the whale. Y'all let me know if I'm going too fast, if y'all can't see it. Um, if there's any of them that you want to see again. Yes, a tornado. That is a good way to describe what my swirl is going to look like. But I'm going to do it. Um, and then, I know y'all saw I did this video. 
I first discovered um, Cosford Rise Stitchery by watching Evertote. And they had taken one of her patterns and converted it to Roxy Flosco, and they were stitching it. Um, she had me with the name Cookie Cutters. Yes, ma'am. So, I literally bought every single thing that she had. And she's English, too. So, um, you know, I just could not. Not. So... This is the Love to Stitch Biscornu and Scissor Fob. And since I still haven't sewn the Biscornu from the Teresa Kogut retreat last year, um, don't hold your breath. And then, y'all, holy, holy, holy. Hello from Be a Blessing Stitcher in Iowa. Um, I'd like to know if Lindy Stitch is left with the whale. So, I love Holy, Holy, Holy. This is the Red, Red Rose Sampler. Um, and it says, Oh, my love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love is like the melody that sweetly played the tune. And you know what? I know that if Vince would write poetry, that's what he would write for me. Um, and let me tell you, this was Friday night, and I had just left Kathy Barrick and Liz Matthews. This is the second or third floor. Um, market is on floors two, three, four, and five. When I left Liz Matthews, I said we were leaving. That was 630. And then I saw this room. And I was like, one more room. Um, another one from, I'm telling you, I bought every single pattern. The Shamrocks That Grow. Y'all, I don't even really stitch, um, St. Patrick's Day, because, you know, Villar Chow isn't really an Irish name. But I bought it. I really want to do the hat and the shoe. And then she had Father's Christmas Village. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, while I love everything, this. And I'm sorry I'm not taking my... This is what I love. This is what I want to stitch. I'm going to channel um, Contented Needleworker and stitch that. Cosford Rise is amazing. She is just amazing. And Goose, I know last year... I said I would never do a monthly stitch again. Ever, 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 ever. January basket. February basket. March basket. April basket. I'm sorry for the glare, y'all. May basket. June basket. July basket. August basket. September basket. October basket, November basket, December basket. Uh, does anybody know how many patterns we're up to? Um, I'm going to tell you something else that Vince told me on the plane. He said, um, hey, Judy, he said, you might need to get a model stitcher to help you stitch all your patterns. It's like, I don't think that's how model stitching is really supposed to be, but not a bad idea. I 
I'd like to remind you that I was part of Stitch Your Stash Admin last year. Um, I did not, I don't think I bought Channing Street last year, but you know, you never know. So I bought it this year. And then, this, the minute I saw it, Twelve Days of Christmas, Annie B's Folk Art. I'm a sucker for anything with the Twelve Days of Christmas, even though I haven't stitched anything at all. Um, bless his heart. You are right, April. Um, and I brought several of these because I'm going to make my friends stitch them with me. And Jess, I was afraid to go into the room, and I felt bad, and I told him, I said, y'all can't tell Jess I met y'all first. Um, they were so sweet. But, um... Yes. Um, so I got that one, and then I have all of the pairs. Have I stitched any of them? No. But I had to have it. Had to have them. Y'all, I have as much shot of stitching animal pillows as I do strawberries and pears. We're all going to need parachutes. Half of these charts I didn't see. My husband is going to loot. Girl. And you know what I said last this year, which we all said? I don't have to have them all at once. They will be here for a while. I am telling you, something medicinal happens to me. And then, this is Down in the Valley. Down in the valley where the green grass grows. Love it, love it, love it. Bought a couple of those. And then I bought, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Amen. You know, Lori, she said I could open up a personal LNS. My husband also asked me, he's like, when is this a ploy to tell me that you're actually going to open um, an LNS? I understand. I do. Annie B spoke. Boy, I bought a lot from Annie B's. This is the first shop I went into on Friday night. The very first one I went into. Um, the Hain Sampler. The Lord made the family, and within it, he dwells. What's this one? 246 by 201. Y'all, I don't have a lick of sense. Not a lick. Okay, this next one, I am stitching a gentle needle right now by Monticello Design or Monticello Stitches. And she was there. And she is from Atlanta. I'm gonna let y'all know right now that um along with the bi-monthly boxes, I am going to do three signature sampler boxes that are a little bit more expensive, um, bespoke, thoughtfully curated. I can tell you that there will be a September sampler and we're going to start taking pre-orders and Robin with Little Robin Designs is doing the exclusive chart for that one. And that chart will not be released until market of next year, except for those of you that buy the sampler box. And Chantel 141 is also making something for that. Having said all that, Monticello Stitches is going to do the exclusive sampler for the um, blessing sampler for the new year. And so, love never ends. Monticello Designs. Um, I just love it. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love never ends. God knows I'm going to make that one a big one for the house. And then forgive anyway. Forgive first. Forgive often. Forgive anyway. You, I'm going to put these right beside where Vince's pillow at night. And you're my home. I love her. These are original samplers by her. Um, 
And I just love the colors of her samplers. So I love me some gentle art floss, even with as difficult as they are to get. So I went in and I bought the four colors that are this year's colors. This is Wisteria, and I am sorry that you can't see it, but it is a just variegated with tinges of lilac. And then I bought Goldenrod, and it's bright, but I think some of those Monticello Stitches ones, and I'm thinking even some Halloween, is a little too bright for me for Easter. And then this was just a limited edition but if that hadn't gotten some shamrocks written all over it, I don't know what does. Yeah, does anybody know how many charts so far? It's coming through good. To, oh, thank you. And then I am not a purple person, but it says dragon fruit. So these are the new colors that um, Gentle Arts came out with this year. So you got to get those while you can. Um... Chantel went with me. We were leaving Saturday, okay? I was sitting downstairs in the atrium. Vince had to go to the restroom and probably massage his shoulder. A bunch of us were talking. And Chantel said, what'd you get from Teresa Kogut? And I was like, I didn't go in to Teresa Kogut. And so Chantel and I made a beeline for Teresa Kogut. And y'all know, I don't know why I'm the fanciful flamingo, because I love sheep. Strawberry sheep, y'all. Strawberry sheep. Strawberry sheep. Y'all, I know I got 24 for 2024 already mapped out, but golly dang, I want to stitch this one right away. And then I got, and God saw everything he made and it was good yes it was i think this counts as an i love you sampler because it's got all the little couples and they're not naked they're dressed if y'all know um and missy i know you feel me i i can't do adam and eve samplers i, I cannot stitch naked people i cannot mm -mm, i don't even like to see myself naked um and then i got Serenity. I got about as much sense of buying this one. And then I bought the Hello Spring book. Now there was a Stitchers one I didn't get. She was out. And so, but y'all... Okay, look at this. Look at that one. Chantel made me do it. Hey, Nora! Nora Cully. I met her at Beach, please. We all did. She has a brand new floss tube. Nora, please tell me the name again at the bottom so I can tell people. And she's coming to uh, Stitch Florida. Then we've got this one. Serenity was your first purchase. It was a good one. I've done Home Sweet Home and butchered that one. Um, he buzzing. Oh, the buzzing of the day assures a restful night. Good grief, I can't even read. I didn't do a start for leap year. Um... I'm not crazy. Nora's Needle Nonsense. Y'all all have to go and subscribe and watch Nora's Needle Nonsense. She is a stitcher and a quilter. Look at this one. Look at that. Y'all. All one word when you type it in in, floss to, in YouTube. Floss to. The bird who dares to fall is the bird who learns to fly. Oh, I love that. I fall all the time. Does that count? 
Y'all, we're already 34 minutes into this, and I'm not even done with one stack. Golly dang. Ooh, I want to do this one right away, too. Chantel, is this your board? I need to know, because I need that, too. Looks like a Chantel board. Yes, it is. All right, add that to my list, Chantel. And then, um, moving on, Summer House Stitch Works. Love all of them. So, I bought the Fragments of Time series, the little houses. And I want to do these as pillows. These are 51 by 51. Stitched on Colonial Parchment, Fabrics by Steph. Um, stitched on a 32 count. I need both of that. Stitch. And then Lucky Charm. That's an 89 by 89. Milk and Honey by Fiber on a... That's a 40 count. Let's not be ridiculous. We won't be doing it on 40 count. And then a Marking Sampler, Susan Weeks. That's only 43 by, f oh no, the back. There's a needle card on the back, y'all. Um, this one is, um, why am I looking at stitch counts now? A little too late. 237 by 57, straw linen by weeks. Um, I love it. And um, this was another one of my top picks of market. Faith. Stitch on 20 count Ada. Oh, don't you worry. And then did I buy the pin box? Why do I have the instructions for the pin box? I don't know. Um, and then grandma's flower garden. Hey, Brandy. Um, so we got that, and then I got, these are the new colors, and y'all, it's Gloriana Silks. These must be like Pantone Colors of the Year or something, um, because the Pantone new releases, or the Gloriana new releases, Thank you, Mary. I swear, I don't remember last year the new release colors being that similar. But these in Gentle Arts, sure do wish I knew why I'd bought that Tudor silk, though. It's a mystery wrapped in a conundrum. Um... I blame Tiger Lily for these. I went into my sister samplers. We all know what a fiasco Anna Richardson became for me. So what did I do? I bought every single pattern that my sister samplers has ever done. Yeah, I did. This is Little Letters. And when I tell you that they were little, this is done on, she stitched this on 45 count. The tediest, tiniest thing. Oh, that's why I bought the red and the green. <laughs> okay. Put that with that. And then I bought the Gloriana Silk Pack for Ann Hansen. This is 264 by 370. Is that a BAP? Did I buy a BAP? Not a dad gonna make a sense. Mary E. Byrne. I 
loved her. I just love the colors that they use. And they were a hoot. Mary Butler, aged 11, and, okay, I want to show y'all something, because they pointed it out to me. Ooh, I'm sorry, I moved the camera. Mary Ann Butler, aged 11, had had enough. She started out really small, really precise, and with every line, and so then when she got to this line right here, they start out really thin, and then they get wider and wider until she got to the end. And she was like, bump it. If y'all hadn't learned your alphabet in these lines, y'all ain't ever going to learn it. And she stopped at the end. I feel like I am her reincarnated. I do. But I bought it for the chickens. Yep, bought this whole dang gone thing for the chickens. But bless her. I just love her. She had... She had just had enough. Um, I hope her she never married somebody with the last name O through Z because she didn't learn how to stitch those. And then Catherine Terry was aged. Okay, look at her aged 11, having enough. Um, and then Catherine Terry was only nine. And look at the bird she stitched. Catherine Terry was an overachiever. We would not have been friends. Mm -mm. She was probably like Nellie Olson on Little House on the Prairie. She finished her whole alphabet. It's absolutely stunning. Um, Catherine Terry, you and I would not have been friends. Hola. Hola, 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 Viviana. And then this one had a needle minder too. Who's this? Kathy Leeds. Oh, no, Dorothy Leeds. Can't even read. Um, yep, Dorothy finished her. Oh, Dorothy's another overachiever. She did two of each letter. What in the name of tarnation? But isn't that beautiful? This was all stitched in swamp grass by, Lord, uh, by Gloriana. I love that one. I don't know my alphabet by the time I finish these. I never will. And this is Elizabeth Newman, 1736. She finished it in the year. Um, she spelled sampler with an A. I wonder if her teacher... Oh, and she only got to the R. W, X, Y, Z. Well, she did at the top. Um, Y'all probably want to see what I'm talking about. Y'all remember when I didn't stitch samplers? Golly dang. And then hands-on design. I have every strawberry that Erica Michaels has ever made uh, designed. Never done them. And so what did I do? Bought these. Um, this is Jen Naska's fault because she wanted the blueberry one. And I went into hands-on to get her this one and decided I needed them too. There's the strawberry one. Um, want no more? And then gather around the table. And then I am almost positive that this is what the color's for. Yes. This, and look at this, is stitched on juniper. Don't worry, my friends. I bought y'all some. Sure did. And then I bought the blackberry one. No, that's the one that Jen wanted. Well, Deb, Mentor, if you need a sample, you can have one of mine. I probably wouldn't even miss it. And then we have Gather Blessings. Gather Wildflowers. I was part of this subscription box last year that did that had the four, so I'm gonna continue on with that. And then I was privileged enough to go to Chantel's um, 141 pep rally, and we did a fall one on this board. 
And so, of course, I had to get spring. And I'm going to need uh, the summer and the winter one. I did get to see Nicola, but I didn't say a word to her because I was dumb, honestly. Oh, good grief. But she didn't tase me. She probably thought I needed a defibrillator. Now, I will say, when I went into Fox and Rabbit, they were sold out of all of their linen and all of their patterns. They had one pattern left. And when I say one pattern, I mean not a bunch of a pattern. They had one pattern. Where there are bees, there are flowers. I bought the last item that Fox and Rabbit had for sale. Now, we will be able to get them from Hoffman, but I just want you to know that that was the last thing in their store. I mean, unless I wanted to buy display cases. Um, and then I got to meet Paulette of Plum Street. Um, sweet as could be. And so, of course, I bought Summer Glory. Oh, I wish you could have seen these models, y'all. Oh, I wish you could have seen her room. Spring Beginnings. She had the Christmas in July that is one of my whips. Oh, to see these things in person. And the Proverbs 31 sampler. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. I'm sorry about the glare, y'all. I bought Nelson. Honestly, I bought Nelson because I love the name of the pattern. I bought the Flag Thief because, you know, I love stitching a Plum Street house. Yeah, buddy. You bought Stream Spring Beginnings? I like it. And then this one was, Jess, tell me if I'm wrong. This was an exclusive from a retreat that has now been released. American Welcome. I do believe that this was a retreat exclusive. Because, you know, I have um, Felicia, which is the other one that we have that has all the water in the house that I hadn't stitched. That can join it. Y'all, I'm never going to be able to leave this room because I've barricaded myself in. Um, and then my friend, Lori Wilson, Thread Milk Designs, love her. Um, got to stitch with her at Samplers Remembered, and then we've just become friends, and so how can you not? Nellie's Jumbled Alphabet. Um, Nellie drank a lot for a young girl, and so bless her heart. Look at that alphabet. I mean, I'm sure it means something, but I mean, maybe there's another part to it. But I H N M P B R J L F. Y'all, if she had to take a field sobriety test, she would lose. Vince was in the hallway holding all my bags, Mary. And then this was another one of my favorites and must haves for market. This is a reproduction pattern of an antique coverlet pillow. And I love it. Oh, she used sulky, 12 weight. Oh, I like this one more and more. 30 count Old Salem lemon, linen by Primitive Hair. Um, then there's Mary Fielding. I'm not even going to pretend that I can read all. If I can't even read the stitching, how am I going to? It's probably one over one. Mary Fielding. Um, Elizabeth Garbett, Success to America. Happy the child whose youngest years receive instruction well, who hates the sinner's path and fears, the road that leads to hell. Success to America. She might have had a stern upbringing. Woo. 
Mary Eggleston. And this, um, this was a reproduction. And this was very interesting. Lori took some time to go over this one with me. And I really wish y'all could see it well. But it has Old English and Celtic alphabets mixed in. And the crown. Um, I think that this was around the time of King George the First. But this is, she's one after my own heart. She got to there and said, bump it. I don't care if I've got all this extra fabric. I am done. That would be me. Um, the Bicentennial, 1824 to 2024, Sarah Burley Sampler. Um, she was 14 when she did this one. Yo. Look at the border on that. And I love it because Lori has put the pictures of the original samplers on the back. Um, and then we have, this one was just stunning. The Sisquin. I'm not even going to try to say it. And I'm sober. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, she stopped at R on the bottom. God, I love these girls. I love these girls. It, when they're, they were done, they were done. And then, you know, I had to get the bunny feather tree. And um, this frame is from Hobby Lobby. She has uh, a couple other feather trees that she has designed, and you can just switch them out. This won't be done for Easter of this year, by the way, y'all. Sure won't. And then Michelle Lindy Stitches wanted to go look around some. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee so I can stay up all night. And so I was the first customer that her husband tried to ring up by himself, and we had to go find her to help. He did not listen to the instructions that she gave him. So, I love all of Lindy Stitch's birds. Did her strutting tom for Thanksgiving. So, I had to have the rose-breasted cockatoo. The oriental dove. Oh, my gosh. These are monthly. Why didn't somebody tell me that? The red cheek cordon bleu. Oh, no. Not another monthly stitch. The European Gold Finch. The Rainbow Bearded Thornhill. And I didn't buy all of them. Now I gotta go hunt the rest of them down. And the Oscillated tur Oscillated Turkey. And then... Queen of Thread. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So those were Lindy's, what I bought from Lindy Stitches. But look, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I've only got six of the months, y'all. Oh, dang. All right. Now. Um, Kathleen Littlejohn, who I have admired for forever and goes to the attic and I just think she is amazing. So these are not all new releases of this year, but she had all of her samplers in her room. And so I said, one of each, please. In memory of Louise, 1874. And I think contented needleworker Kim has done this middle section. I don't know if she's done the whole thing, but I know she's done that middle section. Well, Goose, I'm not going to buy anything in 2025 or 2026 or 2027, maybe 2028. Annie Matilda Moss. Um, which one? This was also from her from 2022. 
Benazit Sam Alphabet Sampler. This is a new release for this year. And she owns all of these. So it's not just that she designed these, she owns them. This was a new release, Sarah Welch, 1764. This was a new release for this year. Ligatures and letter and letterings and Irish of ant. Let's try this again. Ligatures and letterings of Irish antique samplers. This was an original design um, and new release for this year. This was from last year. Ann Hunt Nancy, 1805. This was last year's. This was a Quaker. Stitch with Mel. We're gonna have to save this to remind her. Yes. Lies make baby Jesus cry. Girl, baby Jesus has been sobbing for years then with me. Lydia Mendelhall, 1817. This was a 2023 release. And this was a 2023 release. 1816 Quaker sampler, but Lord have mercy. And that's just the first pile. All right, y'all let me know. That was an hour. Should I do a second live and do the second pile? Or should we just keep going? Y'all let me know right now. I'll do what y'all want. Because I have a whole nother stack. That was just the first hour. I have spent all the profits from my sampler boxes. Yes, my husband let me know. Um, I think that I have now, um, Goose says keep going. You already made coffee. All right, keep on keeping on. All right, I'm going to. Um, I think that I have now, I can safely say that I have acquired more patterns uh, then my life expectancy will allow me to stitch. These are Queenstown sampler designs, and she and I are also talking about doing a signature sampler box. Um, Y'all, her and her husband have been married for 50 years. It took us like 30 minutes to check out because they couldn't stop squabbling. And Vince just looked at the the husband, and said, is this what I have to look forward to? I've only made it 27 years. Single-handed saving the economy. Lord have mercy. Okay, this is, um, look at those colors. A Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, 1845. Susanna Lawton, 1841. Honest to goodness, look at this. Look at those birds. Look at that little girl. I can't tell if that is a cow or a dog. I really can't. Mary Yerkes, 1825. Maria Dean, 1804. Y'all, seriously. You think it's a dog, Mary? I, I have said it before. And we just added a wall in the hallway. I'm going to have to add the walls of the walls. Francis McCall, 1857. And these are all American samplers. Emily Hudson. 1843. And I had never heard of Queenstown Sampler Designs. Um, but she, they, they were just the cutest little old couple. Dorothy Auckland, 1818.
All right. God, I wish y'all could have heard them squabbling. Um, I know that we all know the Gobbletons and this series. The Bougie Stitchers. Love, love, love to stitch them. Ari is from the Canary Islands in Spain. So, of course, we bonded. Um, and I've got some sad news for y'all about the Gobbletons that she said I could share. They have finally gotten married. She said that people were bugging her for years to make them a proper um, couple. So, they got married. But she's tired of doing the Gobbletons. And so, she told me that they were going to come to a tragic end on their honeymoon and there would be no more Gobbletons. If y'all didn't want to know that, sorry. And then... I bought the Toro couple, or the bull couple, because Spain. So that's from RETM. And then this is an original design um, that she has done. And it is stunning. And I saw it up close and personal, but she was telling me that you could take these bands and just stitch them around something. So y'all know how I bought that box to put my project cards in? I think I'm going to do these bands and put them on the sides of the box. I bought two of those. All right. Go and put these down. Oh, so these are the new classic color works colors. Weather Vane. I live on Weather Vane Manor. Y'all think y'all did they did that on purpose? Misty Mauve. Oh, I wish you could see these colors up in person. And London Fog. Y'all, that might be my new black. Mm. And so you got them with this little chart from Hoffman. So I bought a couple of those. And then, um, they had already sold out of some of the Blackbirds, so I had to get on the list for afterward. But, um, I did get that. And then I got Moments of Glad Grace. I got a couple of those. You know, I think that these are going to be some giveaways at Stitch Florida. I wanted to have 150 giveaways for all 150 attendees. I know I have 100, more than 150 charts. I'm not giving all of these away, but I did buy extras of a bunch. And then Little Robin, who's doing the September sampler, signature sampler series box, um, had some amazing, amazing um, patterns. And I have just about stitched everything she's ever done. So, Charlotte Bridger, 1843. And she has the originals and then reproduces them. I'm a little jelly. Charlotte McGillis and Posey. Look at that Posey pillow. I bought two of everything in her store. Because why not? Eliza Eason, 1827. She gave up on some of the alphabet too. And then Emma Thatcher. Oh, I wish y'all could have seen these rooms. They were deck. Oh my gosh, the way they decorate these rooms. Le papillon. And then, 
Grace Gill. Y'all went crazy, crazy, crazy over this. And then she sold out of this one at market. Straighten your crown. And I bought five or six copies of this one. Keep your head high and your crown straight. Bougie Stitchers are always talking about straightening, straightening each other's crowns. Uh, you're fine. You're not late. I keep them going. No, seriously, I can't get out of here. Lucy Beam. I met her and I met her daughter who does lapis lupin linens. And she may be also coming to Stitch Florida. I also have black cauldron um, linens coming. So we will have plenty of fabric to choose from. Friends are the flowers of life. Uh, Jesus, no, Jesus Navarro, your name is Jesus and you're asking how much for a night. You should be ashamed of yourself. Your mama named you Jesus. Do better. Hmm. And then I got Janet Potts. I got Mary Nori, 1859. I'm serious, y'all. His name is Jesus, and he talks like that. He needs his mouth washed out with soap. Sarah Bigot. I love the colors on this one. And then Mary Ann Baker. And again, I love the colors. Y'all, holy cannoli, we're almost done. I, what happened to that pile? We went through that fast. This, um, this is Nikki's Creations. They are an Italian company, um, and she had, look at this, y'all. This was a kit from a class she taught, and she had some leftover kits. But look at that little sheet. And it comes with a tassel and a little charm. Zan, thank you for blocking Jesus. Y'all, we need to pray for his soul tonight. So this is, I think, yeah, 32 count antique rose. And she had these little bundles left. Um, 28 count Vici. But look at that. That gingham for a sampler. I know Annie the Proper Stitcher has um, a new release that's kind of on some gingham. And that's what gave me the idea. Ugh. Um, and then we have Old England 32 count. I have honestly never felt linen like this. And then my last purchases, y'all. This is the Scenic Sampler by Heartstring Samplery. I just want y'all to know that when this came out, I loved it. And I said, nope, not stitching it. 247 by 215. And what did I do? I bought it. And then, yes, ma'am. My scissors, my rules. I think so. I think so. Somebody needs to make me one that says, touch my scissors and die. Um, home is where your honey is. And then home is where your heart is. Y'all, that is all of my patterns. All right, y'all let me know. I've been talking and talking and showing. 
what questions do y'all have? Don't ask me what the grand total was because I haven't even totaled up my receipts. I just don't need that kind of negativity after the high that I have been on about market. Um, hold on one second. Somebody's peeking in the door. <gasps> it's Mr. Flamingo. Come here. They want to see you. They've been talking about you and how patient you are and how you need your, oh, because you're going away tomorrow. The bag's empty now because they're all on the floor. You can take it. He's going out of town and he needs the carry-on that all my stuff was in. What's your fave? Is it possible to... <laughs> what was my favorite, do you think? It's hard to tell with everything I bought. Um, I honestly don't know. I mean... I honestly don't know. I wish I could, but... What? Well, I know there's a mess on the floor. Oh, oh, I want to show that one. I hadn't shown it because this was for a special person. You know who you are. And the dinky dies. What am I going to start first? My heart. Wit set. Um, I really, it's as odd as it is, it seems, blah, 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 blah. I really want to do the little sheep one. I don't know. My biggest takeaway from market. Um, it was an experience for sure. Now, I got to go because I am a registered buyer. I have an account with Yarn Tree. So that's how come I got an invitation to go to market as a buyer. Um, even though I don't have, well, you know what? I guess I do kind of have an LNS. Um, I do buy for the boxes. So I had gone to kind of meet people and look, and look at um, goodies for the boxes. Didn't find so much little things to put in the boxes, but did a lot of networking. It is, is a wonderful opportunity to meet designers, to get to know designers. It's very fast and it can get very crowded. Like I didn't buy a lot of linen because the linen lines were long. It opens Friday at four o'clock and they're at three. I don't know what time these lines started forming. We walked in at like 345 and the lines were already like down the hallways for the linens. Um, so... Y'all are some desperate men on here to make these ridiculous comments. I'm a 53-year-old menopausal woman. Go away. I don't even shave my legs. There. Hope y'all are happy. Um, seriously, I don't have time for this foolishness. Your mama should have spanked you more when you were little. So, the rooms, it's an embassy suites. So, they set up the rooms in what is like the little living area of Embassy Suites. So while it seems big, it's not. And three or four people in there and it gets crowded. And these designers, honestly, it's it's not like you can sit and chit chat. And that's really not, well, I mean, they are there for that and they are very sweet and they are very accommodating. And Lord knows that um, they take pictures and they stop and talk and they are so gracious. And that is, um, I think like all of us, when we see a floss tuber that we admire or a designer, we just think, oh, they, they're too busy for us or they're whatever. Um, they are, I mean, we are just people and we are just stitchers. Um, so they were just sweet and gracious and they are so happy to meet you and know that you like their work. Um, and so that was probably my just biggest takeaway is that every single designer is just so happy to meet you. Um, so that, that, was, that was really, really wonderful. It is overwhelming. It is fast paced. It is a lot. We left Sunday morning. So I was at market from four to seven on Friday and then maybe like 1 to 5.30 on Saturday. It's open 
I want to say four to eight on Friday, nine to six on Saturday, and maybe nine to four on Sunday. So I definitely wasn't there the entire time. There are many, many um, stores, believe it or not, that I didn't even get to. I know. I know. Um, and my husband wasn't sad about that at all. Can you believe I bought all of that and I still didn't get to every single store? I will tell you that Primrose Cottage had a line out the door every single day. Every single day. Does the Glendon Place Flowers have, ones have beatings or just, it has beatings because I know that there is. I am not that familiar with Glendon Place, even though she is from Florida. And um, if you ever go to Brick City, they have a ton of her models. So yes, this is, I hope the person that has, this is the embellishment pack for Lipa. Um, and then the Dinky Dyes, and then the Sullivan Flosses. I did, I did get to go into Dinky Dyes for a minute, and Elizabeth Ann, um, was not there, but she had all of her market releases in Dinky Dyes, but it was packed in there. Um, so, but I will show... I mean, her, her flower mandalas are just amazing. Amazing. 200 by 200. Y'all have fun stitching that. So, um, and I have done beading on cross stitch before. And um, I do not like the bead needles, but if you use a 28 count, the 28 count needles, they work perfectly on the mill hill. So I bet that they would look, they would work on that. Um, I can tell y'all it was cold. 10 out of 10, did not like it, the cold. So what else do y'all wanna know? You haven't beaded yet. Um, you know, you can bead on anything that you stitch. Um, if you want to try it, heart and hand, maybe one of those, or a bent creek or something small. Put the bead, put some beads in the middle of a flower. Put a bead instead of an X or um, a French knot and try it like that. I did make my way north. Um, that is true. Not that that much further north. I mean, Tennessee's still the south, but it was cold. You do. Just try a small one, Sandy. Uh, would I go back next year? Um, definitely. But I'm not going to buy next year. You know, it's funny. When we went, I told my husband, I don't need to buy anything because I'm just looking for box stuff. I would definitely go back. Which room was I most impressed with? Um, thank you, Jessica. I'm glad you like your box. So, the Proper Stitcher and Little Robin Designs had a beautiful room. Uh, Liz Matthews, Kathy, I like kind of prim rooms. If I, ooh, I hate to say it. Top two that I went in, Plum Street and Teresa Kogut. Top two of the designs and stuff of the, and I didn't go in every room. Um, Lori Wilson, Thread Milk Designs also had a beauty. And I mean, I'm saying it because they're prim. Um, so I definitely loved their rooms. Primitive hair room. I always, yes. Primitive hair was, I didn't get to go in because it was always busy. And I kept saying, I'll try to go back when it gets less busy, but some of the rooms just don't. Maybe Sunday they did, but we had to leave for the airport before market even opened on Sunday. And honestly, because we had to put most of the 
patterns in the carry-on because they wouldn't weigh it, I don't think I could have bought anything else. I mean, we were holding our breath with my bag that it wouldn't be over the weight limit or one of us was staying in Nashville with the bag. Um, definite, definitely would go back, especially now that I've had experience and I kind of know what it's about. And hopefully I'll have more boxes behind me to make more contacts. So, um, yeah. I thank all of y'all. Y'all have held on, good golly, Miss Molly, for an hour and 20 minutes. Only took me an hour and 20 minutes to show y'all what it took me like seven hours to buy. I'm going to sleep in here tonight in this chair. I am. Because I can't get out of the room now. I don't even know where I'm going to put all this stuff. I literally have no room in here. Um, But thank y'all all. And um, thank you for sitting with me while I showed you all my purchases. I hope y'all could see them okay. Lord knows I couldn't take all of those out of the bag. Um, thank you, Missy. I love this community so much. Y'all just bring so much to my life. Couldn't do it without you. Um, and God bless you all. Good night. I would say good night, but how do you get out of this? Anybody know? I'm going to hit that X at the top. And if it cuts us off, have a good night, y'all.